<laughs> All right, guys and girls, welcome to another episode of Astral Order Repairs. Can you dig it? All right, check it out, guys. We got a 1999 Ford Expedition. Customer's complaint, leaking antifreeze. Has no idea, right in the center of the vehicle, link it antifreeze. So we're going to find out what the heck that is. Coming up on Astral Auto Repairs. <laughs> This channel is a member of the Astral Stars, which means we have a zero tolerance policy against the harassment of others. Anybody who violates that policy will be banned. For further information, please visit www.theastralstars.com. All right, guys, we're looking up under the car. You can see the stain right there. Sure enough, right in the center of the vehicle. Matter of fact, I just saw a little drip. Huh. All right, let's go on the top. Let's see what we got up here. Usually, guys, you know what that's water. You know what's the water pump leak. Wait a minute. That's a brand. That's a brand new water pump. Uh oh. Yeah, I don't know what I'm looking at. I oh, like, oh, oh. I got a glare over here. Oh, let me get that up. Is that better or is the light? I figure the lighting be. Need yeah, light. yeah, no, I don't need the light. Okay, you see the water pump down there? Looks brand new. Sure, sure. Maybe point two. I don't want to get thanks. Under the alternator? Under the alternator, see, now you Oh, need because the belt. belt. No, I don't need the uh, light. Is the belt in my way. Oh, yeah, you can see the belt's in your way. Yeah. Well, it is shiny back there. Guys, that's a new water pump. Uh. Wow. All right, guys, let me get a mirror or something. And see if I can see anything. And then I'm going to go talk to the customer as well and see what they're going on. All right, bear back. All right, guys, I got a light and a mirror. I'm going to see if I can, dang it, see what this thing is leaking from. Wait a minute, right there. Wait a minute, I see a leak. Oh, no, no. Yeah, heck yeah, right? It's coming up from the water pump. I don't know if you can, you can, you can even see inside the mirror. Look in the mirror? Yeah. I can't even see where the mirror is. Oh, hold on. Let me see if I can go from this side. Got your no, but that ain't gonna be. Um, dang it, guys! It doesn't look like it's coming from the water pump. It looks like it's coming from the water pump gasket. And the customer said, "This is gonna be. <coughs> you're gonna find this weird, guys. It's gonna be funny." It's gonna be real funny. Um, the customer said he was. He told the guy he was. Yeah, it was. Uh, the windows was fogging up in the mornings, and he couldn't get the defrosters to work because the windows kept fogging out. He saw a leak coming from the vehicle, but it wasn't from up here. So the mechanic said, "You know, your water pump." <laughs> so the guy changed the water pump. Come to find out, it was the heater core. I don't know if somebody changed the heater core or not. I'm not sure about that. But then two months later, now. It's leaking. So now here we are. Um, and it looks like maybe he tightened up the gasket to the water pump too tight. I don't know if it's a seal or whatever. Or just the water pump is leaking. I don't know. It could be a cheap water pump. I have no idea. I don't know. But he also said he can't find the guy no more. So of course that's why what? we Yeah, that's why we're here. That's exactly why we're here. Yeah. So 
guys, let's uh, I'm gonna tell them this gotta come back apart so I can see this. All right, be right back. All right, guys, we need to get this air cleaner assembly out of the way. First thing we gotta do is get this cover right here. We got two 10 millimeter bolts over here. There's supposed to be one on the other side going down, but that's gone. So let me see if I can. Dang it, can't get in there with that. So what I'm gonna do here. <laughs> is get my big bill 3 h drive ratchet 10 millimeter deep 3 h drive and I'm going to take out these two bolts right here one and two all right let's take them out bear right back all right guys pop the cover off just so we don't lose the bolts put the bolts back in place and then we're going to put this cover to the side be right back all right guys the next thing we'll do we got the two hoses right here that's all you have to do just pull those out pull them out lean it to the side your uh, air temperature sensor over here, we're going to disconnect that. You're supposed to push a tab. There's supposed to be a tab right there that you squeeze that tab in and unplug it. But that's not there, so we're going to put that to the side. Next thing we're going to do is unlatch it from right here. So you got this handle. Pick that handle up. That's going to come out just like that. On the other side, there is a clamp. A clamp right here, loosen that clamp up, make sure it's nice and loose, grab the whole assembly and pull it out, pick the whole thing up just a little bit, hold it up just like that, because then you got to disconnect the mass airflow sensor, which is right here, and this is, why is this coming out like this? Huh, that's supposed to be pushed in there, man, I don't know what the heck happened. Over here, there's a plug to it. plug right here and what you do is there's a little tab right there squeeze that tab into the connector and unplug it let's take our whole assembly and put it to the side we'll be right back all right guys the next thing we're gonna do you see this right here this is the jack handle so you just pop it out of its clips like there's a clip right here pop it out one right here pop it oh you can pick it up and it goes out of here too Pick that up, pop it out. We're gonna put that to the side. Now this 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 is missing a whole bunch of things. Whoa, man, what the heck? There's supposed to be a series of clips all throughout here. You can see every single one of them is missing, except for these two, and they're missing the pin that's inside of them to lock them into place. So they just come. <laughs> These are just coming from somebody, man. This, whoever got that butchered this thing, man. Just pop them out. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I can't show you how this supposed to be. Pick the whole cover up. <laughs> Let's put this to the side. We'll be right back. All right, guys. Next thing we're going to do is drain the antifreeze. Take your nice clean pan and the right side of the vehicle. You're going to set it right about there. And what we're going to do here is... Let's see, I might have to grab the camera. Okay, here, yeah, let me grab the camera. Alright guys, go up under here. And right there. Right there, guys. What you want to do is take this little valve right here, and you might have to use pliers, but usually it's only supposed to be hand tight. Turn it counterclockwise. Make sure your pan is up under there. Turn it counterclockwise. Oh, there it is. Dang it. And we're gonna go ahead and let this antifreeze drain out for a few minutes. We'll be right back. All right, guys, the next thing we're gonna do is take off our fan assembly right here. Now, the fan is held on by this big nut screwed onto the water pump. That bolt is a 1 and 7 uh whatever it's gonna be. So, what you're gonna do is I got me a 1 and 7 16 inch wrench. You wanna set the wrench up there. Check these guys out. Check this out. It's gonna be, this is cool. Set it right there. 
Then, what you do is take your hammer. Yeah, it's a hammer. I ain't gonna say it's hammer time, but that's a corny joke. And what you wanna do is you wanna shock this, hit it, and and now sometimes it, it does take a, a, a little while to keep doing it. But, uh, and watch yourself. And when it, when it doesn't loosen up yet, just go ahead and keep, keep resetting it. That might have been it. Yes, it was. So, let's go ahead and then you take your fan, turn it counterclockwise until that comes off. All right, so let's get that off and we'll be, and then when you get it off, it's just gonna come off and maybe we might be able to get it. Let me see, let me see guys. Sometimes you can squeeze it out of here. But if not, like the problem I'm having now. Okay, I'm not worried about that. We ain't worry about that anyway. But we're gonna let this let that antifreeze drain for a little while because the next thing we're gonna do is take the upper radiator hose, just the top, just over here, take it off and lean that to the side so we can get the shroud out as well. All right, so we're gonna drain that for a little bit and we'll be right back. All right, guys, the next thing we want is take this clamp. Now you can use a pair of vice grips, pliers, squeeze it together and bring it back. But I'm gonna use these handy dandy pliers that Sylvia got me for Christmas. Yeah, boy, look at those two. Look at that two. Where'd you get it from anyway? Amazon. Amazon, guys, check that. Amazon, you get anything. Yep. All right, so guys, check this out. This thing has a swivel head, swivel, swivel heads, and what it does, it's got a ratcheting system right here. So if you look right there, as I close it, it ratchets and locks it into place so it don't come back. To release it, that's all I have to do is squeeze that little tab and release it. So we're gonna go over here. We're gonna turn these. Hook it up, squeeze it together, and as I'm squeezing it, it, it locks into place. See that? I can let it go. Bring it all the way back. Let's bring it right there. Squeeze it together, push the little handle in, and then release. Just like that. Then we're going to take our hose, and slowly take it off just in case there's some antifreeze in the hose. Turn it over, okay, great. Bring it over to the side, tuck it down over here by the oil filler cap, all right? We'll be right back. All right, guys, the next thing we're gonna do is take up our shroud and fan as one whole assembly. Now, your, your shroud is just held in by two eight millimeter bolts. You got one right here that was up under the lower rate, upper radiator hose, and directly on the other side, right by the oil cooler line, there's gonna be another one. So what I'm gonna use is an eight millimeter deep, three H drive with my big build, my favorite ratchet. So I'm gonna go down there. I'm gonna take that one off. Then I'm gonna go over here to this one and take whoops, and take this one off. So let's get those off, and we'll be right back. All right, guys. Now we're gonna one hand is gonna hold the shroud, and one hand is gonna hold the fan, and we're gonna pick everything up. Now the shroud is held on by two little tabs on each side that locks right into two little slots. And I'm gonna show you that as soon as we pick this up. So let's pick this up. And you definitely wanna hold on to the fan because you definitely don't wanna damage the radiator. So pick the whole thing up. Let's get the fan out of here first. And let's take this out. And you see how this little slot right here and over there, there's one on each side. So, putting this back in, if you see right here, there's a slot. And then on the other side, there's one as well. And that's exactly where you set that down. And then we put the bolts back in there because you're not going to be able to see it when we put this back in. And there's our water pump, guys. Look at that. That thing is definitely... I can see the antifreeze leaking right there too. We're gonna even see it better when we go to take this cover off. Now, the next thing we're gonna do is take the belt off. But before you take the belt off, we're gonna loosen up these four bolts holding on the pulley. Now, whoops, let me get this shroud out of the way and anything before I crack it. So, 
So I'm gonna get a 10 millimeter deep, 3 8 drive with my big bill. And that's because if I take the <coughs> if I take the belt off now, I go to turn these, the whole pulley's gonna turn. So you don't want to do that. So you want to take the socket and you want to loosen these up. All right, we'll be right back. All right, guys, what I got here is a half inch drive ratchet and you put it on like you're tightening something. And I got a little one and a half inch or two inch extension. Now here's your tensioner assembly right here. Now there's a square opening right here. You want to put the, open, the half inch extension right there and you're going to go like you're tightening and watch what happens when you tighten it. See, it takes the tension off of the belt. So we're going to push it down Take the belt off, let it go slowly again, and take it out. Notice I was very careful doing that because you definitely don't want to hit too much back there. Wait a minute, dang it. Take it off to the side a little bit. Okay. <coughs> you got to keep in mind that your radiator is right here and you do not want to damage that. All right, now that we got that off, we can move that to the side. Let's take our belt up and hang it up to the side because we don't want to know any freeze and know to get on it. And now we're going to finish taking these four bolts out and remove this pulley. We'll be right back. All right, guys, we got the four bolts out. All four bolts are the same length, so you don't have to worry about getting them crossed. Let's take our pulley off. Look at that antifreeze, guys. You can see it now. And that definitely from back, that's definitely from back. Oh, I don't know, maybe there's a hole up under here, but we're going to pull the pump off slowly and see. But it looks like it's actually coming from the gasket. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> all right. All right, guys. Let me, and also, what I'm going to do now is now, uh, if you look, can you look straight down here? My hand is. Okay, right down here is the drain. Yeah. Alright, so what we're gonna do now is close that drain off, tighten it up. And we're going to move our pan up under to where the water pump is. All right, so let's close that off and we'll be, put that under there and we'll be right back. All right, guys, the water pump is held in by four bolts. We got 10 millimeter bolts. So we got three right here. You see those three? And then there's one. Need to move that belt a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. That's good. Okay, we got three bolts right there. And then there's one directly underneath. I got a 10 millimeter deep 3 8 drive with a 4 inch 3 8 drive extension. And my big bill. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> All right. First, I'm going to get the bottom one. Man, this thing got a lot of corrosion on these bolts. All right, and we want to, what I'm going to do is actually just set the bolt back in there a little bit, just in case the bolts are different sizes. All right, so let's go around and take off the others. Be right back. All right, guys, we got all the bolts. So let's see here. We got the bottom one. Notice how rusting thing. Huh, I'm wondering. I don't know about that. All right, that one's the same, same length. That one's the same length, but that... Okay, they're all for the same length, but that's pretty. Probably that one's going into the uh, coolant chamber. All right, so let's walk this water pump out. That's a lot of guys. I'm not. I don't know guys two months and you know let me show you what I let's, let's go take this over to the table and and something's weird here and I got a feeling I know I think I know what happened here all right we'll be right back all right guys look at this for two months 
I mean that that looks really yeah yeah for just two months I'm not getting that and also guys what I noticed look at the old look at the gasket look how flat it is and and you know you know guys know that it only gets this flat after it's been there for a long time and two months this thing should have still had a ridge to it just to be sure the customer got it from advanced car quest There's the new pump and his new O-ring. And it's it's rounded. <laughs> so I, I don't maybe maybe when he got one, maybe it didn't come with it. He took the old one and put it up there. But when you put these up here, put it on that groove, and you can see how the O-ring sticks out from the water pump itself. That's to help it seal. After two months, that should not have been that way. That is flat. So, and actually, you notice the new one is kind of thinner. Because that's, it's not flat. That's OEM. That's, that's, he took the, he must have didn't have one, he put the one right back up there. Because that would definitely shouldn't be that way. But, oh well. We're good to go. The next thing we're going to do, guys, I'm going to clean these bolts up. Get some wire brush and clean especially that one because that's going into a water jacket and clean that up and then what we're going to do come over here to the car can you go swimming with that water jacket you know what <laughs> Sivvy, I just want to know what we're going to do is just take some sandpaper and write in around here what if I don't have sandpaper and I have a <laughs> well maybe you should get me some then Gonna go ahead and clean up all in there for some dirt and grime that will stop this thing from seating right. All right, so let's do that, and we'll be right back. All right, guys, got our bolts nice and cleaned up. Now it's time for the 007. We're gonna use a little bit of lithium grease, and the 007 is using a Q-tip. You want to take it, and you want to put a nice thin layer just around going around here this helps with ins installation because if you try to install this dry it's definitely a good chance of you ripping that o-ring so you definitely want to do that so let's put a nice thin layer around there and we'll be right back all right guys what we're gonna do is install the water pump now now your water pump you see that little big circle right there that's gonna go straight down so you want to bring the water pump in Bolt holes line up at. Damn it, what the heck? There we go. Alright. Now, I'm just holding it right there. I'm not going to force it in yet. I'm going to put my bolts in by a couple threads. So that now I've got my pump lined up. And the next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and wiggle that pump till it go right into place. Just like that. You, don't, you definitely don't want to use the bolts to pull that in. Alright, let's go get our socket and all and we'll be right back. Alright guys, what we're going to do is tighten these up and we're going to go cross threading. Now what I'm doing is taking my ratchet. I mean, see, I, you got that, that blower motor, man. It's like blowers, like that. Like, you know, we're recording. What the heck, man? I don't understand it, man. What the heck? Ah! That's $10 added on. <laughs> ah! No, I'm just kidding. All right. So, we're going to go crossways. We're going to bring this in. I'm not going to tighten it up. Just, just till it's snug. And then I'm going to go across here, do this one. And then I'm going to do those two. All right. So, you're just going to bring them in. Just till it stops. Alright, let's get the other two and we'll be right back. Alright guys, I got my 3H drive ratchet up here. And to tighten these up guys, you're just going to tighten it till it stops a little bit more. That's it. Go across ways. Tighten it till it stops and a little bit more. Alright, let's get the other two done and we'll be right back. Alright guys, the next thing we're going to do is get our water pump pulley. 
You can match the the holes are not. You don't have to line them up perfectly. You can turn it either way as long as they line up. It's okay. So we're just gonna try to get that and line up like like that. Okay. As soon as you get one, the others it's gonna go in with no problem. And again, you start it off by about about three to five threads. That way, you're definitely not cross threading it. All right. So let's get that done, and we'll be right back. All right, guys, now I got my 10 millimeter deep 3 8 drive, my 4 inch 3 8 drive extension, and my favorite ratchet, the Big Bill. And we, we can't tighten these up all the way because what this is what's going to happen when you tighten it up. This thing is going to spin. So you just, and what you can't do is just hold your hand on it right there, tighten it up. And we're going to tighten them up a little bit more once we get the belt on. But let's, take, let's get these snugged up there, and we'll be right back. All right, guys, here's a little trick for you guys. For you guys who got the nut driver out there like this. This is cool. Use your um, 10 millimeter shallow socket. And you can just hold this by the hand and just go ahead, tighten them up. And that way you ain't got to do this when the belt gets on. All right? God dang it. We'll be right back, guys. All right, guys, now let's get our belt on. Let's get our belt. It goes around here. This part goes around. No, no, no. This part goes around here. And then it goes up here. And pretty much I'm guessing. <laughs> nah. It goes up here. It goes around here. And then it's gonna go up on the alternator. So I'm gonna get my half inch drive ratchet. Guys, this, it's like, I don't understand, man. I don't know. Man. <coughs> Tighten it up. Whoops. See, now I'm not thinking straight. Bring it down. Bring it up to the alternator. You know what? That ain't gonna work. Just get it, get it off of the water pump. Bring it up on the alternator first. Down to the power steering pump. And then over to the water pump. Make sure all the grooves are lined up. And it's not down here on the... I'm gonna have to get rid of it. Okay. There we go. Everything is lined up. Take that out and it looks good. All right, we'll be right back. All right, guys, now we got our fan and radiator shroud assembly. We're gonna bring it together. Roll it down. Making sure you don't damage that radiator. All right, now once you get it down there, the first thing you wanna do is remember those tabs at the bottom? You gotta make sure you get into those both of those tabs. Perfect. Now we're gonna take our eight millimeter bolts. We're gonna put them in there. One on this side, and one on this side. Alright, we'll be right back. All right, guys, now we're gonna tighten those up. Eight millimeter deep. And I'm just gonna bring this in. Now, if you got your regular ratchet, what you wanna do is just go ahead till it stops and a little bit more, that's it. All right, let's get the other side done and we'll be right back. All right, guys, this part is a little tricky because what you gotta do is pick your fan up, put your fan up on the thread and you gotta try to turn that and hold it while it's up in the air. So what you want to do is just make sure it's good and flush up there. And you can see, and that's all. It might, it might take a, a few moments. Dang it. Dang it, I almost had it too. Dang it, man. 
if I had it. Okay. And then you just go ahead, turn that on till it stops. And tightening it up is the same way thing we did as loosening it. Loosening it. What you want to do is find the wrench that you lost. Oh, there it is up there. One and seven sixteenths inch wrench. And this time you're going clockwise, so you want to go ahead and set that right there. And Good enough. Yeah, boy. All right. We'll be right back. All right, guys. The next thing we're going to do is put our hose. Huh. Guys, you see this? You see all this corrosion right there? down into the wires that will cause your computer to short out right there guys because that corrosion gets down in that wires it's going to cause so much resistance and it will short your computer out you definitely you see something like that um usually we got a video on just putting some hot water on it but this is beyond that <laughs> this is going to have this uh this cable is going to have to be replaced along with maybe we can cut back on this one but i don't know I gotta let them know about that. All right, so we'll grab our holes. Put our holes on. Open up our, these are the civvy pliers. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna call these from now on, the civvy pliers. All right, get that onto here. Yeah. Dang it. Squeeze that, it locks it right into place. Bring it up. Then, while it's up there, go ahead and release it, and that is done. All right, guys, next thing we do, we got our air cleaning and all to go up here next, but what I'm going to do now is we're going to start filling this up so let this system bleed through. It's a self bleeding system, so you don't have to worry about that. I'm going to fill this up, and then we're going to come back and put this on. We'll be right back. All right, guys, next thing we're gonna do is put our cover on. It goes up here, lay down, and I said there's supposed to be a series of clips around here. Oh my god. So we're gonna put them back. <laughs> and then, our jack handle. Why is it up here? Um, a few cars do that. Actually, some cars even have the jack up here somewhere. Well, I guess not this one. So what we're gonna do is line it up right there. And first push it into these clips and then down here all right we'll be right back all right guys let's put our air cleaner on now before we do anything guys very important this thing will run like dirt <laughs> want to connect our um, mass airflow sensor so let's go down here grab the plug up squeeze it together till you hear it click and you know click laying it wasn't it missing the no the other this one was oh. there it is clicked into place the next thing we're gonna do is go over here hook this part up to the throttle body put that on then over here, you gotta open this up and you see this little tab up here, it's gotta line up with that slot right there. And you're gonna make sure this thing is all sealed all the way around. And once you get it around like that, you take the clamp, lock it down, air temperature sensor plug. This is the one that's missing that little tab, so you won't hear no click on this. So just push that in all the way. Got two hoses up here. Push that one on. Push that one in. And if, guys, if you got any kind of leak from here to there, fix it. Because if you got a leak, this thing will run like dirt. Like dirt. How do dirt run anyway? I don't know. Why am I, why am I joking around right here? I'm trying to finish this job. All right. 
you get your screwdriver and tighten up this clamp. All right, we'll be right back. All right, guys, now we're gonna put our cover on. As you can see, the cover's broken right over here. And that's the bolt I was telling you about. It's supposed to be going right there, straight down. So let's take out our two bolts that we put in over here. Take the cover, just go lay it down. in there by a couple threads and we're going to use it this time guys I'm going to use a 10 millimeter shallow 3 8 drive my big bill and again guys I'm going to tell you get you guys, guys get you ways when it gets on sale for $99 and definitely practice with it so you can know instead of just just breaking bolts practice the trigger so you can do that you can control the speed so use it like right right now I'm gonna go fast till I get close to it and now I'm close now I'm gonna just go just like that done done all right guys let's get our cap put this on and let's start this up we will be right back all right guys we got the key let's start this up Expedition two-wheel drive with a 5.4 engine and we showed you how to replace the wood pump. If you guys have any comments or questions you can post it below in the comment section or you can email Timmy at Tim at AstroAutoRepairs.com. Hope you paid attention if not watch it again. This is Sylvia from Astro Auto Repairs. <laughs> if we can't repair it nobody can. See you next time.